Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Microsoft Surface Go 3 tablet and in this video I am going to talk about 8 tips and tricks. The first tip is about multiple desktops. So guys in this tablet you can have multiple desktop options. So in each desktop you can open multiple apps and then if you want to switch you can easily switch between any desktop. So here you can see I open this PDF reader then I have this web browser in desktop 3 and then I can switch to desktop 4 with Microsoft whiteboard so I can easily switch between these uh, desktops the next thing is if you want to add more desktop you can add also more desktop by selecting this plus icon from here so here you can see now this is desktop 6 the next thing is you can also use your keyboard trackpad to switch between different desktops. So for example I open this desktop 4, now I want to switch back to desktop 3. I will use my 4 fingers on this trackpad on my Microsoft Surface Go keyboard and then I can simply swipe it like this. Okay, So I will just swipe. So here you can see now this is desktop 3. If I want to go to desktop 2, I will swipe it right like this and now it is desktop 2 and if I want to switch between desktop 1, I can again swipe it like this with my 4 fingers on this trackpad and then if I want to move forward, I will swipe to the left okay, with 4 fingers. So here you can see. So this is how you can switch between a different desktop in this tablet which is really really amazing. The next tip is about quick search menu. So you can use your three fingers and then tap on this trackpad on your Microsoft Surface keyboard. I will just tap it like this and it will open the search menu. Here you can also use the AI Bing and then if you want you can also use this windows icon so here if i just tap on windows icon then here on top you have this search option as well the next feature is about minimizing all apps at one time so what you can do is on your trackpad use your three fingers and then just swipe down so I will show you I will just swipe it like this so here you can see all apps now minimize okay so basically this will be helpful for clearing your desktop if you want to open all of these apps again just use three fingers on trackpad but this time you have to swipe it up so I will just swipe it up like this so all of the four apps now open. The next feature is about snipping tool. So for example you want to take a screenshot of specific part of your tablet screen. So what you can do is you can use this snipping tool. You can download it from Microsoft store. Now here just select this camera option and then select this new option. Okay, so I will just select this new option. Now here, whatever part you want to select. For example, I want to select this part. So I can just select it like this. Okay, and then what you have to do, you can just leave your pen and then this part will appear over here in your snipping tool and you can do all your annotations. For example, if you want to use the highlighter, you can use the highlighter. If you want to use the pen, you can use the pen as well. And once you finish with your editing, you can also save it and you can also share it. Okay, so for example, if I just select this share icon, here you have different platforms where you can share your screenshot. You can also use in Microsoft OneNote. The next tip is about this Surface Pen. So guys, this Surface Pen has a lot of functionality. If you just press it single time, it will open the screenshot option. You can take the screenshot. If you press it two times like this, it will open the Microsoft OneNote and here you can start taking your notes so this pen is really helpful in note taking as well you can also press and hold this back button and this will open the Microsoft whiteboard where you have different templates option you can use if you want to customize your surface pen you just have to go into the settings so I will go into the settings and then just go to Bluetooth and devices and then just scroll down and here you see this option of pen and Windows ink just select it 
once you selected here you can do all the customization of your surface pen for example you can select any shortcut you can select which hand you want to write with right or left so you can change from here and there are other additional settings you can also do the next feature is about multitasking so you can open apps in split screen for example I have this uh, Microsoft OneNote app I will just double tap it like this on top and then I will take it to the extreme left and then it will open in the split screen like this now on the other side I can open another app for example I want to open uh, this web browser so I can use this web browser here on the side and here I can also take my notes so if I want to write I can also write over here so by this way I can use two apps together the next feature is related to Microsoft OneNote screen clipping so you can use the screen clipping option in Microsoft OneNote you just have to select this insert option then here you see this option of screen clipping just select it now here what you can do whatever part of your screen you want to clip you can easily just select it for example i will just select it this part of uh, this zodo app and it's a pdf file so now what i will do is i will just select this part now once you leave your surface pen it will automatically insert it into your microsoft one node so here you can see i use the screen clipping option that specific part is now available in my microsoft one node and here if i want to write if i want to use the highlighter okay so here i will show you so if i want to use the highlighter in this area i can also do it the next feature is about pdf annotations so you can use the microsoft journal app for your pdf annotations you can download this app through microsoft store and here you can select a new journal and then what you can do just select this plus icon and here you can insert a pdf so here is the insert a pdf option just select it then select the pdf file that you want to insert and then import pdf now what you can do you can do your annotations of this pdf file so here i have this pdf file now if you want to use your pen if you want to write something you can do it if you want to use the highlighter you can also highlight if you want to use this scale tool if you want to draw some kind of lines so you can use this scale tool as well and you can easily rotate it the next thing is if you want to insert a page in your pdf file you can also do it so here you can see there are three dots on top right corner of every page so here you can see on every page these three dots available just select it once you select it here you see this option of insert page above just select it and here you can see the page is inserted above this page okay so here is a new page inserted and now in this page you can do all your pdf annotations if you want to write something if you want to use the highlighter so everything you can do on this page if you want to finish your work and you want to export your pdf file again select these three dots and then here is the option of export just select it here you can see it is giving you the option of export page or export all so you can export your page or you can export all file so i just select this export all and then it will show you two options so you can export as pdf or you can export it to microsoft one node so guys this is the microsoft app that you can use for pdf annotations if you want to use more advanced tools for pdf annotations you can use the zodo app so this pdf reader by zodo okay so this app you can also install through microsoft store and in this app you have more advanced tools available for your pdf annotations the next feature is about note taking so you can use the microsoft OneNote app for note taking so here we have different tools if you want to write here is the writing tool then we have this highlighter tool okay and then if you want to draw some kind of shape what you can do is you can select this automatic shapes option draw any shape and it will make it neat for you then we also have ink to math option if you just select it and here you can write your math equation and 
and then it will make it neat for you for you so here you can see 2x square i just write it will convert it into the text and then i can insert it here in my microsoft OneNote. you can also insert tables so here are the tables options so you can select this table so here you can see you can also insert spreadsheet so here is the spreadsheet option new access spreadsheet so this is how you can insert the spreadsheet if you want to make some kind of video with a camera on with the front camera on you can also do it what you can do is just select this option of record video okay once you select it your front camera will turn on so here is the front camera so here you can see so here is the front camera you can also make it bigger and then if you want to record a lecture and you want to make some notes okay so you can do it as well if you want to record audio lecture for example if you are in a class and you want to record audio so you can also do it just select this transcribe option and then select this record audio option and it will start recording whatever you say and then later you can stop it and then later you can play it the next feature is about downloading apps so guys you can use microsoft store to download different apps if you don't find your app in microsoft store you can also use the web browser option so you can download it through microsoft edge okay or if you want you can also use the google chrome so if you don't find any app on microsoft edge you can use the google chrome web store and here you have all different apps available you can also use the extension from google chrome that will be really helpful for your productivity so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much